let's understand what happens when we have the square root of x squared. What does this become when you simplify it? Right here. That's what we want to know. So I will do this visually because it's easier to understand visually. So let's do a graph here. And in this graph, I'm going to input right here. Just to prove this to you, I'm going to do the square root of x squared. You see what I'm graphing? The square root of x squared. That's going to produce a very specific shape. And hopefully this shape will be familiar to you. So let's zoom back out here though. Now look, that's a basic V shape. So hopefully you recognize that as the absolute value of x. How do I know that? So now I'm going to graph the absolute value of x right there. Look at it. And you see how these two graphs overlap perfectly? Right? That, so that's not accidental. In other words, what is the question mark? The question mark states that square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x. We know that because as you move along this graph, they overlap at every single point x comma y along the graph. So that means when you do this in practice, okay, like for example, the square root of negative 2 squared, it's equal to the absolute value of negative 2, which is positive 2. The common mistake is to assume the following. The square root of negative 2 squared equals negative 2 right here. That's the negative 2. Negative 2. Ah, oh, I can get it to type out, right? This here is false. That's not true. Let me do another graph here, okay? And in this graph, I'm going to graph the following. I'm going to do, again, the square root of x squared. Look carefully. The square root of x squared. That looks like a basic absolute value graph. And then here I'm going to graph x. That means x but no absolute value bars. And look where they overlap. The only place they overlap is right here. So over here for this portion of the graph, you can tell the following is true. Uh, the square root of x squared is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 right here. Over here on the other hand, uh, you see, these are two different things because the graphs are way separated, correct? So for this part right here, what is this proving to us? It's proving that square root of x squared does not equal to x when x is negative. Right? It doesn't work like that. You got to do the absolute value if we're to be very rigorous when it comes to doing the square root of x squared. If this is helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out the other channels on this. I'm sorry, check out the other videos on this channel. <laughs>